Hey everyone, welcome back again to another Friday tutorial. In this session, we will discuss about how to convert the UI components that is the Flutter widgets into a printable document. Say for example, we have here in the screen an uh, invoice UI and what we need to do is as soon as we click this save as PDF button, I want this entire UI of the invoice to be saved as it is as a PDF file. Let me just run this app and show you so that you will get a better understanding of what we are about to discuss. Let me click this save as PDF button. And as soon as you click this, you can see that the UI of the invoice which we saw in the app screen is now converted as a printable document uh, with the same kind of stylings, which is more or less the same as what we saw earlier. So you can save that as the PDF or else you can directly print that to the printers available or connected to the Bluetooth. So now let me save that as a PDF and you can just save it inside the device itself. It automatically saves inside the local device. Now if you navigate to the folders available in your device, you will be able to notice that the document being saved as a PDF file. So you see that the document is now saved as a PDF file. It has automatically converted the entire widget into a printable kind of document. Okay, so with the images, the colors and everything. So this is all about what we are about to discuss in this video. Without wasting time, let's directly jump into the coding part and get this done. First, you need to add this package which is printing and always check for the latest version. After adding this package, let's move on to the main.dat file. And inside this main.dat file, we have the navigation to my home page. And inside this my home page, we have the basic set of UIs that is the columns, text and the dividers written down. It's a very basic, nothing much. And um, this is all self-explanatory. Let's move on to the logic which is written down inside the save as PDF button, okay? The button is over here. This is written separately inside the save underscore button dot dot file. And here in this button, inside the on press event, we will be calling this method which is print document which is pretty much responsible for converting the UI into the printable document and saving them as the PDF file in say the device so here you need to make use of the document and before that you need to not access the document you need to make use of the PDF widget class so the PDF widget class is actually imported as PW so you need to make use of PW with the help of the dot operator and access the document the same way for the pages and say the format it's A4 size in our case and in say this builder is where you need to build up the entire content what you want inside your uh, page okay so the builder is responsible for uh, holding up all the contents that is that goes inside the page and i have written that separately inside this function and after that is done you can make use of the dot save method to save the print uh, to save that particular document inside your local device and let's move on to this function which is responsible for uh, rendering all the components in the page and this function is more or less pretty much the same uh, in order to access all the widgets you need to make use of the same pdf widget class and with the help of the dot operator we can access the entire kind of uh, widgets which is already available in the flutter so if it is a padding you need to make use of pw.padding if it is a text you can make use of pw.text the same way for divider align everything and in order to specify the colors you need to make use of the pdf color and pass in values in the form of rgb so you can see here uh, if you need to follow the red green blue format followed by the alpha everything in the value lies between 0 to 1 you can specify the way you want to have the corresponding kind of color by doing so you will be able to convert the entire UI component into a, a printable document so this is very much simple and I will also leave the link for this code in the description you can check it out well that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do so consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video bye